Welcome. Sarename a kesain and a makasareti kinyaki. In this episode, I'll be talking about fear and the change through the awakening process. But before we start to get into the actual episode, let's close our eyes if that feels safe for you. And let's take a deep inhale through the nose. Hold a breath, hold a breath, and exhale. Let's do it a couple more times. Take a deep inhale through the nose and hold the breath. And exhale through the mouth, let it go. Beautiful last time. Take a deep inhale through the nose. Hold the breath and have the intention that anything that is meant for you, you will receive. That any transmission that is meant to pass through any of you, it will come through in this episode. And exhale fully. Hmm. Whenever you're ready, if you close your eyes, open them. And so many blessings to all of us. And this wonderful journey. A remembrance to ourselves. To the unity that we are. Hmm. Beautiful, beautiful. So let's begin to talk about this fear of the awakening. And the change, um, it, of course, it could also be related to the actual awakening process, right? But there's something that happens, you know, so what we have to remember and what really helped me as well through my process was that the constant remembrance that I was breaking so many codes and so many things in my lineage that had been just passed on in a way unconsciously. And so it was this remembrance is like, okay, well, I'm doing a really good job here. And of course, it's going to feel very challenging at times because how long have these conditions been in my family? How long have these codes been in my family of like the way of living or the way of thinking this is how we're supposed to live life or think about life or see something, you know, like the same perspective, which was wild to me. It's like, how, how can we actually have the same perspective? You know, like you're having your own experience. I'm having my own experience and being okay also um, to know that at times my family or maybe my friends will not even be in the same level of me. And I'm not talking in like higher level, lower le level. What I'm talking about, it's like in the same vibrational uh, frequency, and I had to be okay with that, you know, but if, like the fear that came up for me a lot of times was the fear of losing myself, the fear of like all this channeling abilities were just coming in so strongly and, and then thinking, would I even remember who I have been? Would I remember my journey or it will be something that I will just get totally in the zone of channeling and not even remember my past and so for me that was very fearful and I think it was more fearful the fact that I dearly loved my life even even though you know it was very challenging especially emotionally to think that I wasn't gonna remember my whole journey was what brought so much fear and also thinking about that I was losing control, you know, <laughs> which uh, it was something, um, I mean, I wasn't losing control, you know, <laughs> like, I mean, in many, many times in life, we don't really have much control, but I was remembering my power. And so the empowerment actually brought up to the surface, the fact that I was very disempowered before. So this fear of being in control, of not being in control, actually, excuse me, was very challenging because if you are already in your awakening process and you started to channel a lot, perhaps your journey is a little bit similar to me, but at times, like, I will just feel it. I will just feel it. And then next thing I know, it's like something was speaking through me, you know, or something was doing many things that I was like, what in the world is going on? And, um, and, and yeah, it just kind of happened one after another, after another, after another <laughs> way massively. And at the beginning, I will be very exhausting. It was a little bit similar to 
the trances that I was going through, you know? So whenever I went through a massive period of shadow work, deep, deep shadow work, it was like trance after trance after trance. And, and with the channeling abilities, it was very similar, even though, you know, like I know for sure that something was happening and something really good was happening. But I remember crying so many times to my boyfriend saying, I don't, I don't want to forget who I am. I don't want to lose myself. And I thought that because I didn't have control of these abilities, and maybe, you know, it was just me not really putting those boundaries into what was coming through, you know, that um, I was just not even beat me anymore. You know, they're like, these abilities would just come through and I would just be that channel and nothing else will be remembered. It would just be that, you know, because it's a constant thing. But I realized this fear, you know, it was more of like my ego. My ego didn't want to lose itself, you know. And of course, like I, I really don't believe that we lose the ego. You know, I really believe that the ego has um, greatest capabilities as well, you know. But like my ego, they had been in control for so long, <laughs> you know, that it was it was very like it is my way or no way whatsoever. Um, was just not being in power in my system. And so that fear of that part of me being like, holy smokes, okay, we're we're not in control anymore. And I can't really determine what's going to happen. So like, does that mean that I get to lose myself? Does that mean that I will not even remember my past or even remember the happy memories that I had? And it was something constant that happened and it. It was honestly very horrible. <laughs> It was very horrible because, I mean, it was a legit fear, you know, and, and if you're going through that, I mean, I feel for you, sister, and brother. I mean, it was just like, holy smokes. I mean, I remember being in Colombia. Um, we we lived there for like two years or so, maybe a little bit more. And um, that's when the channeling abilities just went like crazy. And, and so like sitting at uh the little like um stool thingy that we had in around the kitchen and just like crying to my boyfriend because it's like well I really don't want to lose myself I don't want to forget who I am because these things are like coming through you know and it was also processing what am I because I had believed for so long that I was I was this like person you know and this like living this kind of life and stuff and and here I come through the awakening process realizing I am not that person and I, I'm not who I thought I had been or who I was living, you know, but I am something else that is not even a who. <laughs> so like, what? Um, it was such a mindfuck, honestly, it was such a mindfuck. And I really think that like this awakening process is such a mindfuck because I mean, going back again to the remembrance of like, okay, I am breaking all these codes in my family and not just in my family lineage, but in the collective they have been in there for so long, like engraved in our systems for so long. So of course, it's going to be really freaking challenging at times. And that's okay. You know, I signed up for this. I said I wanted to do it because I, I knew that I could. And it is for the greatest good of all of us, not just my family and myself. So um, that is the one thing that continuously like drove me to like stay present with everything that was going on and and realizing, you know, it is my journey that it's not going to be very easy because how, <laughs> I mean, helping and guiding others through their own awakening process and their empowerment to remember themselves. Like, of course, like my journey had it not been very challenging, how in the world would I hold space for people that are going through challenging awakening process, you know? So like, I get it, <laughs> like my mind, like totally got it. But the other parts of me that it was like seeing and experiencing myself and didn't really understand, you know? So like, okay, I am experiencing myself. What does it mean? What does it mean about the other self that I experienced, does that mean that I was fake? And so like, that was such a trip for me. So it's like, okay, so I've been living a, a lie of all these years and now all these things are coming through and there, and in a way I'm feeling that everything else that happened wasn't even me. So how in the world was, was I living? <laughs> it was just like, what? Like, how does this even happen? 
and of course, you know, it's like the forgetting a part of of the process, you know. And but it was it was just uh, such a trip, honestly, such a trip, m- many many times. And it's not it didn't really happen continuously, you know. Like I will have it in me at times. It will be like a tiny little fear, but then a moments when like a lot of channeling would just come through, like. And then I didn't even have time to process any of that really or integrate things. It was just like, um, okay, <laughs> okay, uh, yeah, and tears will come out. <laughs> it wasn't really like, okay, it was like, holy shit, uh, okay, let me just hold on to something because I feel like I'm just gonna take off. And I mean, of course, I, I definitely took off. Um, but it, it was definitely a legit fear, you know, and I, and this is something that I also like tell like my clients and students, you know, like, of course, we're going to have this fear, like, and I'm sure perhaps you can resonate w- with this, like at times when you are maybe with some friends that you used to be really good friends with like years ago, and that you're not at the same level anymore. And even when you talk to them, it's kind of like very different. It feels really different than before. Or even when you're around your family, that it's like, you can't really make the small talk anymore. (laughs) And then when you, sometimes you have to, but it's kind of like, okay, like um, this does not feel comfortable or aligned for me anymore. And and that's okay, you know? Um, But it it could be uh, very challenging to think like, well, before I used to get along with them. So why don't I do the same, you know? And also the fear of letting go. (laughs) The fear of letting go, because I mean, these are all the changes that are happening, right? So you're remembering yourself, which means that as you're remembering yourself, you got to let go of like the past self, not necessarily that you will not remember who you were, you know, but as in like the way that you had been living your life is not align and it's not in flow anymore with you because this other life is coming through you know the life that you've been calling upon and and so as this comes up of course everything that is in your system okay let's not say everything but may, maybe most everything I really feel that everything that is not aligned has come up you know um so it really just comes up to the surface and you begin to process it you know and depending on how fast your awakening is going it could just be like process after process after process and you're like holy smokes okay i need a time like time out please (laughs) so i can really integrate and actually like feel what in the world is going on right and this is the thing you know at times we just really want to think and not feel it this is why i said feel because we want to process and we want to understand it. And at times um, the mind doesn't really understand what is going through, especially the mind of the previous life, you know, like your previous self with the vibrations that you had been for so long, not with the new vibrations. It's really trying to understand like what is happening and really put everything into words. And at times the awakening process is not something as simple to put it into words, you know, even when I share part of my story, I mean, it's just like a dot in the whole experience because there's some things that it's just like it has no words you know it's it's just a feeling it's a knowing it's a sensation that happened in me you know it's something I saw and experienced so how can I put that into words without really making it feel like it's this simple <laughs> mm-hmm. and it's not this simple you know it's wonderful it's really really wonderful and um, so just knowing it, you know, like if you are really going through this kind of struggle in a way of your awakening process and, and the fears, you know, fear in this change that is coming through, you know, fear in the new you, fear in the new light that is um, remembered in you, um, you know, have your sticky notes. This is what I do. And <laughs> what I tell my clients, and honestly, it does totally work. Put your sticky note around saying that you're doing a really good job at cutting all these cords and, you know, letting go of all these conditions of this like stories in the family lineage and in the collective that is a massive, it's a massive job <laughs> you know I used to joke around with my ex saying that like um that's a kundalini awakening is a like full-time job and even at times we like come so much overtime <laughs> and so like not only was I actually doing my my work you know but I was doing this extra work in the awakening process and so 
you know, give yourself some credit, right? Give yourself some credit. And it doesn't need it to be so heavy. And that's the thing. It doesn't need to be so heavy. This is why there's so many different practices that you can do to actually have fun. <laughs> and I also feel, and then my story is true, that, you know, as this integration things happened, you know, like having fun is, is one of the things that allows the integration process to be even quicker and more gentle. And, and whatever that means for you, you know, like sometimes for me having fun, is just like dancing around with friends or just like chilling with somebody that I, I really, I really love being in the presence with. And so maybe for you is playing different kinds of games or painting or whatever it is, you know? And, and so that can actually ease up your system because imagine, right? So like all these energies are coming from the inside of you to be remembered, and then there's this energy is on the top that are being integrating and in a way letting go as in just, um, how do I explain this? Because what I'm seeing is just like, so imagine like the roots of a tree, right? And it's, it, comes, it comes into a trunk and then it has like the branches and the leaves, right? So then as I think about the seasons, here we go. This is what they're telling me. Think about the seasons, right? So the season of fall it, the, the, the leaves begin to fall, right? So the, the leaves begin to fall. So think about those energies in you. They're no longer aligned with the life that you're living and the life that is coming through for you. They, they just begin to fall. And that doesn't mean that they get lost, right? They go back into the earth. And they're generally speaking, it's just everything goes back into where it came from. And, and then as the new energies are coming through, you know, it begins to shift the inside of the trees and the energies of the trees. So then for the next season, like spring, they begin to come through and have, you know, like new leaves and maybe fruits and et cetera. But what happens in winter, right? So it's a period of stillness. It's a period of like integration. It's a period of being with the self. And so it's not like when we look at uh, nature it doesn't happen like this you know it, it has its own process which is a mirror of our own process so as you're going through this processes like know that um, you will feel that something is leaving you and at the same time you will feel that something is brewing inside of you and and this is such a wonderful part of the process honestly when you're like I know something is coming and you know like at times there could be a little fear that comes in because like what is it coming you know like is it like a really intense process again <laughs> you know would I be crying or in so much pain or whatever it is, or whatever you know however your processes are but trusting that you know trusted that before all of this happened it was you the one that said yes it was you the one that was given in a way um a job you know so like here you go is this what you want to do and you had the chance to say yes or no and you chose to come here to this planet at this moment in time where there's so much shit going on to help to help all of us not just you not your not just your lineage but all of us to remember so we get out of this maya of this illusion to be able to see actually ourselves to be able to remember each other you know like that is so powerful and honestly if you haven't done that this is the one thing that truly every time that I was struggling and every time I would fear the change to be like this has happened for the greatest good of all not just me so of course I said yes to this and I said yes to this because I knew that I could and I'm doing it and so I'm going to trust and I'm going to flow. I'll be like the water. And at times, you know, the water does move really fast. At times, the water moves really, really slow. At times, the water hits a really big stone. And, you know, that might feel a moment in you that you're like, holy smokes, okay. <sighs> you know, <laughs> so we are like the elements too. So call upon those elements to be like, I can be in flow and I don't need to carry, you know. This is something so good also that has helped me too. When I received a message during a plant medicine ceremony that I was leading and it said like, I don't carry, I flow. So flow, we are not meant to carry, but we just flow, we are energies, right? 
So getting out of this condition that we're just the physical body and this is only what we experience. The awakening process puts us so much in perspective. We're not just the bodies and you are able to see the truth. The truth that it might actually look like the same for all of us, but with your own interpretation as your own truth. And nobody can take that away from you, you know? And you can feel it in you, like, yes, this is it. And for somebody else, it might not be. But that could be something that is very specific, that it feels very true for all of us. But, you know, this takes practice. (laughs) This takes surrender. And it takes a lot of courage. So I literally bow to every single person that is going through consciously in their awakening process because it's a process. <laughs> it's powerful. It's powerful. And it really shows, you know, again, one more time, your courage, your courage to say yes to something that is seen or was seen as something completely crazy and and now is is coming into normality. But it was you the one that chose that. It was you that knew that even though you will have all these, in a way, barriers and all these fears coming up, that you ca- you could tap in into that essence of you and know that you're okay and that you're guided and that you got it. You got it. Otherwise, you wouldn't be here having that experience. So these fears, you know, I, I see them honestly in a way as gifts because they make me feel very human at times. And at times with so many abilities and so much channeling, I could feel that I'm not human. And and that actually grounds me. Even when I have really intense emotions, you know, like anger or, of course, fear or sadness, I give thanks because then I'm tapping into my humanity. I say, thank you, you know? And I know, of course, for me, emotions are teachers and then guide me into a different space of myself to understand also that part of me so i'm grateful for them i'm grateful not just for their messages but also one more time i get to tap in into my humanity and it's like wow okay so remembrance that um of course i'm a portal and i'm a channel but i'm also human and that's wonderful too and and the Awakening process really merged the two, the humanity and the divinity. So then you are living a human life as a divine being, the divine being that you are. So this is what the fears do for me, you know, and it's it's normal. One more time, I feel that it's normal in my journey and the ones that I guide to, that it's normal to feel this fear, <laughs> you know, <laughs> kind of like when you first start to walk, you know, like, Perhaps you were fearful of falling one more time, but then you kept going, right? And eventually you learn to walk or maybe learning a different language. And then you were fearful of people making fun of you with your accent. That totally happened to me many times. (laughs) And then I was like, ah, forget it. You know, they still understand me. And and it's it's normal to feel fear (laughs) as we're going, not just through the awakening process, but having this human experience. That is what we choose to do with that fear. Do you choose to like freeze and like everything and you just like, it's done and then you run away? Or do you choose to look at the fear and look at the beauty of it and say, thank you. Thank you for being here. Perhaps what a fear, of course, like doesn't have a logic. Perhaps another fear does have a logic. And it's just, you know, up to you, up to us. How do we get to see this fear? How do we get to react to this fear? How do we empower ourselves through this fear? And see what happens, right? But one more time, I'm honestly a big, big believer that if we are here experiencing an awakening, it's because we can Meaning that you can go through the whole awakening process and be okay. Not that it's here to just mess you up. (laughs) 
but it's here to empower you. And it's also guided by you, not by anybody else, because it's, it's your choice. It was like that yearning inside that said like, I want to get to know me. I want to stop suffering. I don't really understand why I'm in this life having the same cycles coming up over and over and over again. I'm ready to experience myself. What is this all about? What am I? You know, what am I? Not just who am I? What am I? And so that question is the one thing that ignited the answer to come through. And what is the answer? The awakening process, the kundalini rising. So the clearing of your system. So it's pure as it has always been. And nothing that is in you is from anybody else. But you chose to have that inside of you. You choose what you carry inside of you at any moment in time. So of course, you know, coming into the experience and being uh, or choosing a family and a lineage, you know, and all these things from the lineage that has been passed on comes to us, you know, it comes to us. And then what do we do? Maybe at the beginning of the process, we had no idea we were carrying that. Even before the actual awakening happened, we had no idea we were carrying that. But then we begin to pay attention and see it. And this is something so really, so really fascinating about shadow work that it doesn't necessarily need to be very intense, but it's a choice, you know? Maybe some processes could be really intense, but they don't, it doesn't need to. It doesn't need to. You can say, I choose not to carry this anymore. This is, this is my being. And with me, this ends right here, right now. And it's not going to be passed on to the next generations after me. But this is the end of this. Because I choose not to carry it anymore. And that is empowerment. <laughs> that is when you say enough, you know, enough. That doesn't mean that like, oh, I completely dislike you or I hate you or, you know, why did you pass this on me? I honor that every single thing that passed from my lineage to me was for a purpose. And the purpose was me breaking the cycle, me saying no more. So because I am choosing that, I still honor everything that happened in the past in my life, in my experience, and the ones of the lineage, including the ones of like the whole humanity. So I'm choosing to empower myself, therefore empowering others with my choice of saying no more. And can you feel the energy of that? Holy smokes, it's so empowering. And this is what you're doing. <laughs> this is what you're doing. So give yourself some credit whenever you're feeling these fears. It's normal, it's normal. It's showing your humanity. Of course, you're gonna feel all this fear, especially if something in your lineage has been in it for eons. It's not just going to be like, okay, that's all, that's all. <laughs> in some cases, it could totally be, you know, but if something that is deeply rooted in the energetics of your lineage, I mean, come on, you know? So yeah, give yourself some credit. Give yourself a pat on the back at times. Hug yourself. Like you're doing an amazing job. And all of us that have been working on this, that have been in the awakening process and doing the work that we do, goodness like it's so important it's so important so it's really about saying holy smokes i get to do this in this experience i get to awaken and remember myself and remember other brothers and sisters i get to experience that so then the next people after me in my lineage get to have an even better life than I did at the beginning of this experience, that's a gift. That's a gift that you're given to yourself and you're given all of us. Wow. So whenever you have all those fears pop up one more time, just think about that. Think about that. First of all, it's normal, right? And first of all, you're doing it. And you're doing it because you're here and because you can and you chose to. And because it's a gift, 
you are the gift to all those in your lineage. You are the gift to all of us. Mm. Blessings, blessings, and blessings. I'll see you next time.